A bipartisan push to help the homeless in Florida has cleared another hurdle. A state house committee on health has unanimously passed a bill allowing drivers to donate one dollar to programs helping the homeless when they register their vehicles or renew their licenses. A report on 60 Minutes about the massive number of homeless children in Florida prompted the bill. And as our Jeff Butera shows you, there are many adults in need as well. Jerry Brennan shakes, cuts and scrapes, litter his face. But you might be surprised why. <laughs> to explain the twitches, Jerry gave me this card. Huntington's disease is killing him, and it's causing the shakes. And the cuts? A car hit him last week at Parsons and State Road 60, tearing up his face and demolishing his bike. Very painful. On Monday, Jerry joined about 20 homeless people at the Portamento of Hope Cafe in Brandon. I only know his timing is always right. Linda came here, she says, hours after someone punched her in the chest on the streets for no reason. <coughs> Eric, an army vet, is suffering from an esophageal problem he can't get fixed. I thought it kills me. I don't know what it is. I guess most of the people in here I'm quite familiar with. Jim McNeil's an 84-year-old homeless advocate. He knows Jerry and Linda and Eric. Are those kind of stories indicative of the bigger issue? Very much so. Very much so. And we have the house special burrito casserole. Led by Leela Lilliquist, the folks at Portamento of Hope are helping. You want a cup of soup? They feed dozens, like Linda and Eric, each day. They fixed up Jerry after he got hit, too. Plus this. The AMVETS at post number 44 also got Jerry a new bicycle. Great, great, uh, great, great amounts of friendship and hope. But Jim admits it's only a dent in a problem that's not going away. The need is tremendous. I'm Jeff Butera, ABC Action News. And if you would like to donate to Portamento of Hope Cafe, you can go to our website, abcactionnews.com. We've put up a link to their website.